The Shredder, also known as Orokusaki. The story of Orokusaki dates back to his early childhood. He was born in Japan and was part of the Ninja Foot Clan at a very young age. The Foot Clan was the enemy clan of the Hamato Clan. On one day, the Hamato Clan attacked the Foot Clan and wiped out almost all of them. Amongst the survivors was the baby Orokusaki. This young child was discovered by Hamata Yoshi's father and was taken in and raised as a brother to Hamata Yoshi. As he grew up, Orokusaki was unaware of his true heritage. As he got older, he became the rival of Hamata Yoshi. Their rivalry soon escalated to a personal level when they both wanted the same woman named Tang Shen. When it was clear that Tang Shen favored Hamata Yoshi, this turned Orokusaki's jealousy into hatred. On one day, Saki approached Yoshi and insulted him in front of Tang Shen. This escalated into a fight that Yoshi won, but it left Saki to flee and wander alone. It was during this time when he learned of his past that was concealed by Yoshi's father. Saki decided to rebuild a foot clan and took upon a new persona known as the Shredder. While still carrying a burning hatred for Yoshi and thinking he took Tang Shen away from him, he seeks out Yoshi and attacks him in his own home. During this fight, Tang Shen is accidentally killed by Saki. This fight would end differently with Saki defeating Yoshi and leaving both of their lifeless bodies behind. But as the home was burning down, Saki discovered Yoshi's daughter. He took the infant and escaped. Saki considered this act a form of revenge as he believed Yoshi stole Tang Shen away from him. Saki raised this child as his own and named her Karai, training her and making her part of the Foot Clan. Now as time passed by, Saki eventually found the ancient helmet worn by previous Foot Clan leaders. This helmet was called the Kuro Kabuto, which means Black Helmet. Now a little history behind this helmet is that it was created by the Foot Clan's founder, Koga Takuza, around 1500 years ago. This helmet is stronger than steel. This final piece complemented his current armor and weapons. Over time, the Foot Clan turned into a worldwide crime syndicate. During this time in New York on an attempt to increase their clan in America, the Shredder encountered four turtles that were mutated by mutagen. On many occasions, the Ninja Turtles foiled Shredder's plans. Shredder later learned the turtles were trained in martial arts similar to Hamata Yoshi's style and then built a distaste for them. These turtles later became the longtime enemy of the Shredder and the Foot Clan. Their eternal rivalry would span multiple spin-offs and remakes in the future. Shredder is known to be ruthless, cold, and cunning. As a man of pure evil, he has let his hatred consume himself. Combined with his armor and his mastery of martial arts, the Shredder is a dangerous enemy to face. Even though he encountered the Ninja Turtles countless times, his plans always seem to get stopped by them. It got to a point where Shredder would go to any length to win his battle against the Ninja Turtles, in the second live-action movie, Secrets of the Ooze, we discover a company known as TGRI that created the mutagen that also created the Ninja Turtles. Despite being defeated by the Turtles, Shredder would go to a great length to try to defeat them. He used the mutagen on himself and mutated into Super Shredder. Reaching around 10 feet tall, his body had increased strength and his bladed armor grew in length as well. With his newfound power, Shredder was convinced he would defeat the Turtles once and for all. But due to Shredder letting himself be consumed by revenge and hate, his rational thinking was lost in his Super Shredder form. He destroyed enough pillars for the dock to weaken and it eventually collapsed on him and he died. So the story tells us of a child that grew up in the hands of his enemy, lied to, then being consumed by hatred and jealousy. Orokusaki spent many decades training and mastering his martial arts. He grew to be an extremely strong and agile warrior. He even fought the four Ninja Turtles at once and proved he could handle all of them at the same time. Now the Shredder was brought back in many video games based off the Ninja Turtles. He grew to be the most memorable and longest running villain against the Ninja Turtles. In a few video games we have seen Super Shredder make an appearance as a final boss. Now the Shredder and the Super Shredder design has been altered over the many appearances. But the only time he has displayed to show some sense of sympathy or sad emotion is when he saw Karai get mutated. This indicated that Orokusaki grew attached to Karai as he raised her as his own daughter within the Foot Clan. Now my earliest memory of Shredder was watching him on the cartoon show back from the 1980s and the first video game I saw him in was in the arcade game. 
Now, as I grew up, I lost touch with all the stuff around Ninja Turtles, and I didn't really watch any of the redone TV shows or play any more of the future video games. I was pretty much stuck on the old school stuff, although I will agree some new designs of Shredder have looked pretty cool. Now, I wanted to cover this character because it's one of my favorite villains from my childhood. So what do you think about Orokusaki's story and how he became known as the Shredder? And what is your favorite character in the Ninja Turtles franchise? Put your thoughts in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, then subscribe to see more content like this in the future. Thanks for watching. My name is Asaglow, and I'll see you in the next video.